Hello people, Richie here again, it's just a quick video so that everybody know I've reached 100 subscribers on YouTube, been a long time coming, I've been on there, well just over two years I joined, the it was 17th of July 2017 I joined, I just realised today, well, I've actually got a, like a message from YouTube, with a little message saying you, congratulations you've reached 100 subscribers. So, thanks to everyone that's subscribed and watches me videos. DIY Grandad, a few shout outs here. DIY Grandad has been watching your videos the last few weeks. With your, with your shed and your solar panels and that, you're doing alright there, yeah, getting that all done. And Steve Diamond, Scott Rush, Market Treasure Hunt in Scotland, IKS Exploration. To be chilled, all sorts of your videos, mate. Watching you building your shed on your allotment there. Uh, Martin Zero, brilliant exploration videos around, around Manchester area, and that really interesting channel. That one of my favourite channels at the moment, Martin Zero. Big shout out to you, mate. Alan Jenkins, Blazing Magnets, all sorts of your videos when they come up. World War Two Wendell, another brilliant channel, all your magnet fishing and your train videos and that. Love watching all that sort of thing. Uh, Dragstick G, and your new one, pro your project channel, always watch, always watch those, got, you've got some quite good stuff going on there at the moment. Life of an Englishman, that's Andrew Lawn. you should watch your videos mate. Sub Exploration, been watching your videos lately. Uh, Wolf Spirit Outdoors, still watch your videos when they come up. And Anybody else that's subscribed recently, and if you do watch your videos, hit the subscribe button and bell so I'll know get your notifications. I've been, well, I've been, I haven't done any videos. I've been busy doing a bit of a fence project in the garden. I took took an old summer house down. And I've used some of the panels to make a fence with. That's that's one of the old summer house panels, an eight-sided like a octagonal summer house and roof, roof had rotted and that all the, the side panels are still still pretty good so that's that's one of them there that's one of the items I haven't used but what I did I took it took it down still got the base down on the ground there at the moment I haven't taken the base up yet the, say the roof had rotted and the floor has gone a bit rotten but all the side panels are still pretty good so what I did I needed to make up a new new piece of fence, new section of fence there. There was, there was only like a little, there was a little low fence there, like and it was a bit lower than all the rest of it. And they got recently got a dog next door, and it tries to jump over sometimes. So, and we get foxes in. I'm trying to keep the foxes out in the garden a bit. So, made up that new section of fence, and I might use use three panels from the summer house, cut them down, cut the bottoms off so they're about the right height, and plane the edges off square. And cut a bit off the top and two or three coats of preservative, screwed them all together and made a nice piece of sturdy fence out of it. So that didn't cost a lot. All I had to buy, I put one of the posts I already had, so I made that. All I had to buy was a post and a can of preservative. And been the last couple of weeks making that up. All all done with stainless steel screws, so it should last for years. It's actually pretty solid. Uh, yes, it's pretty solid. That's not going to go anywhere. So I've been doing that for the last couple of weeks. So uh, thanks for all my subscribers. And we're we'll see you on the next one. Probably maybe some out and about videos or possibly some product reviews, something like that. See how it goes. There's my shed over there. One of my sheds. Might do a shed tour on the next video. Another shed over there. See you on the next one people. Thanks for subscribing.